Several of the dioramas depict snowy landscapes. In the Kaibab Squirrel and Lynx dioramas, the snow was created using a cotton batting and a shaved plastic. And being organic materials, both of those had yellowed quite significantly. And then there was the dust accumulation in those cases as well, so that they really didn't integrate with the background painting. Once I got in there and I started to look at the batting and see how the original artist laid it over the modeled foreground, I realized that it was probably going to be a lot easier just to pull out the old stuff and start fresh using a really good archival guideline. And that basically meant redoing the whole foreground. Each piece that I pulled out, I archived it, set it aside, and looked at the form and recorded the direction of it from back to front. Originally, they used cotton, organic cotton batting, which yellows over time. So that was the first issue. What were we going to use? The conservation team spent a good amount of time researching that and came up with this ceramic fiber blanket and it's used to actually insulate kilns for ceramics. So it's not a sculptural material. So that was a challenge to try to figure out how it could be modeled. It didn't look like cotton. It didn't look like that fluffy, weightless snow. In order to make that happen, we put a underlayer of polyester batting under the ceramic blanket. This restoration is more complicated in the materials as the original one. There's, there's actual many layers of different materials. There's the polyester batting, the ceramic fiber blanket done in very fine layers, one over the other, and then a chopped ethafoam, which is what you see sprinkled over the top, and then glass shards or beads to create glimmer and bling in the snow. 